flooded roads and farmland in California. Atmospheric river storms and melting snowpack this winter have dumped trillions of gallons of water on a state which has suffered from a decades-long historic drought. Just what is an atmospheric river storm? It's a regular storm system, but what makes it unique is that it taps into or is able to connect with lots of uh, tropical moisture, um, whether it be in the Western Pacific Ocean or in the deep tropics. Uh, up through February 28th, we had about 12, 12 or more atmospheric rivers that hit California in the West Coast, way above average. And what about melting snowpack? How's that contributing to all the water Californians are seeing? We'll start with what is snowpack, and, and that's uh, the amount of snow that's built up on the ground over the course of the winter after snowfall has occurred. And that uh, is currently uh, in record levels here throughout the Sierra Nevada. And we're, we're now moving into our melt season, of course, which means that uh, as that snowpack melts, it's going to feed our streams and rivers. The storms and flooding have brought destruction and even death. But the water is also expected to replenish critical aquifers. The positive impacts are almost remarkable, actually. Um, the snowfall, um, heavy snowfall and atmospheric rivers, the combined nature of that have really increased reservoir levels um, dramatically. Uh, and also um, drought conditions, meaning the, the moisture in the soil or the surface water in general, um, has it really increased. Nature may level things out in the near term for Californians, but scientists say the world is getting warmer, causing snow to melt faster and rivers to rise further. And many Californians are weary of all the water, even if it makes fields fertile again. I think that is one of the biggest concerns is we are looking at a lot of rainfall, snow, the snow will melt and the wind and we worry about the mudslides and the flooding. The snowpack will be measured on April 1st because that's when it's typically at its deepest. Right now, it's hundreds of percentage points above average with lots of spring melting to come. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Washington.